Hi everyone, welcome to Pawpaw's Workshop. Today, we're going to get into the easel again and use the Circular Text app. This is going to be able to answer a number of questions that I've had by different people. And there are a few tricks and things that you have to be aware of. So let's get started. first thing that I want to do is define what the different areas are. So what we need to do is type out just a simple word and I'm just going to use this text for right now and we're going to bring it up right up here into the center and I'm just going to backspace and we're going to type Abby and we're going to use that to begin with and define the different components of the circular text app. So with the word in place, let's just go ahead and highlight it. We'll now move over, select the app, and scroll down to the circular text app. Now what I want to do is define what each of these different areas are and how they work. And the first thing is the gap. The gap, if you take the little sliding bar, and it will make it where it will spread the letters out or it will bring the letters closer together. You can also change this manually by just highlighting that. And let's just uh, put in a 0 0.50 and that will move the spacing and change. The next thing is the radius. And the radius is all dependent on this area down here at the bottom. We have a horizontal and a vertical anchor. Right now, the horizontal anchor is listed as the center. And you can see if I shift this to the left or to the right, it actually right justifies or left justifies based on this center point. So right now, it is at the right horizontal anchor. So that center line is literally running right through this point. If I shift this over to the left, then the center line is running right along the left side of the first letter. And what I want to be able to do is have this on the center. Now then, the next component is this vertical anchor. And again, this is tied very closely as well to the radius. Right now is showing at the bottom. The radius is three inches. So if I had a point right here and measured out three inches, this would be the three inch radius line. And that's where those letters will line up. If I go over here and select center, you can see how that drops down. If we had the same center point here, the three inches would be a line or an arc that goes right through the center of the letters. And likewise, if we do this one more time and we select the top, then this radius line follows right along the top of the letters. So that's important to know when you're doing the design work. The next thing that I want to do is move up to the starting angle. Right now it's setting at zero. And with this horizontal anchor in the center, that means this vertical line running straight through the center of the A is at the zero point, that's zero degrees, and it's centered. If I take this and move it to the left, then it will move a correspondingly, in this case, 37 degrees to the left. If I move it to the right, Okay, this for an example is a positive 26 degrees to the right. And that shows off of this center line how far to the left and right that it's moving. So for right now, let's just go ahead and put this back to zero. And that puts the center line there again right here at the center of the A. The next one that I want to talk about is Orient. 
Right now, all of the letters are literally pointing directly to the center point of the circle. By unchecking the orient, it makes it where the letters will stand vertical. So if I slide these around by increasing the gap, they stay vertical all the way around. And for the purpose of what we're doing today, I'm going to leave the orient checked. I'm going to go ahead and spread this out again. There we go. This next one is the outer and inner. If I uncheck this, it's going to bring it down to the bottom. And again, I can move this starting angle left and right and I can shift it off of the center of the bottom of this line. So if I have this at zero then with this selected the center line right here again is the center of the A oriented on the bottom of the circle. The last thing that we haven't talked about is the individual letters. So when I bring this back into the workpiece, this right now, because it's checked, these will still be individual letters that I potentially could highlight and move however I wanted to. So what I'm going to do right now is do a quick demonstration and show you. We'll import this in. We'll bring this right up into this area. And now you can see if I highlight the individual B, I can take and move that anywhere that I wanted to. Now let's go ahead and lock for the size and we'll set this for 12 inches. The other thing I want to go ahead and do, we're going to select cut and on the outline and we're going to keep this on path. So that way it'll be right on the center on where we're going to be cutting. So that's what we're going to work with. Now we'll take my Abby We'll bring it back over. We know that this is a 12 inch diameter, so that means it's a 6 inch radius. And that's important to know because we're working with diameters in the workpiece and in the app itself we're working with the radius. So please keep that straight when you're doing your design work. For my anchor point, I want to select the top. And what I want to do, we know that our radius is 6 inches, but let's say that we want to have a radius of 5.75. What that should do is allow me to have about a quarter of an inch gap between the outer portion of the circle and the beginning of the words. We're going to go ahead and spread the words out, the letters out a little bit. And we're going to have our starting angle. We're going to shift that over to the left. So we'll just change that to a minus 22. And that looks pretty good. In fact, that's still, that Y is still hanging down a little bit. So we'll do that as a 23. Now, we have the letters imported. We can grab them and bring them right up to where they need to be. And you can see that forms the actual radius. That will give me about a quarter of an inch radius. If I try to move this down, just for the sake of argument, it's going to actually touch pretty close because we're only talking about a quarter of an inch. But I can slide that right back up to where it belongs. And I can make those types of adjustments without any problem at all. The other thing that we can do, we can take individual letters and move them should we desire to be able to do that. I want to do another example here where we just use this circle as a guideline to begin with. So let's go ahead and select this. And let's just make the diameter, let's say 6 inches. So our diameter is 6. That means our radius is going to be 3 inches. So let's type in another word. Okay, with this highlighted, let's just go ahead and open up the app. And this time what we're going to do is go ahead, we're going to spread this out a little bit. Because I don't want them right on top of each other. And that's probably a good distance. 
We know that the diameter of the circle was 6 inches. That means the radius was 3. So we have that here. But let's this time, let's go ahead and select as our vertical anchor. We're going to put that in the middle. And let's go ahead and change this to the bottom so that we can have this on the bottom. So in this case, we have this horizontal anchor on the center. So we know that it's going to be dead center of this letter. So if we want to be able to shift this to the left again, that starting angle is going to slide right over this way. And we know that it's going to be approximately a minus 25. And that's close, but it's still not even. So we'll just make this at a minus 30. And that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and import that in. Now then, over here, this actually, to be able to get the radius exactly correct, is going to be right there on the center of the circle. This part we don't need anymore. Let's get that out of the way. Okay, now let's do one more example. I'm going to bring this up close to the center, and I'm going to change the shape, and I'm going to lock this, and I'm going to make this a 12-inch circle. I'm also going to go ahead and put this on cutting on the outside. And there we go. Now to be able to center this, I'm just going to highlight it, come up to the edit menu, and do center to the material. And now it's in the center of the work area. Let's open up another circle and do the exact same thing. So now I have two circles. One is 10 inches in diameter. One is 12 inches in diameter. What I want to be able to do is put the text in between these two areas. Okay, I've just typed in the word Mandeville. And we're going to go ahead and just highlight this by itself now. And now we're going to come up to the apps. Now for right now, what I'm doing, I'm going to select point two. And that's going to be the gap that I'm going to use for right now. Okay, I move this back now towards about a minus 30, and that looks real good. We want to keep this at this point as individual letters, because one of the things that I cannot really adjust anymore is this I. But once I get it onto the circle, I can maneuver this I over just slightly to make it a little bit more balanced. So now we have this. And I want to be able to go ahead and take this and move it right up to where it needs to be. While I'm doing this, I want to be able to utilize my coordinates over here. So I've selected this in the center. So it's going to be in the center of the square. And now I can move on the y-axis up or down just slightly to be able to center it in the space. And keep in mind, it's going to center it based on this point right here, not the center point of this letter. Now, I said earlier, I could actually alternate and move this letter individually. So I can take this and just slide it over just slightly. And that looks really good. Now it looks centered. So the circle text is not really a mysterious thing. You just have to be able to have everything set up to begin with. This is another example that I did just real quick. And that makes for a nice sign. And you can see how that would carve. The other thing to be able to take in consideration, you always don't have to keep perfect circles in the center point. This is one that I did real quick. C circles off-centered. Put the P in the center. And it makes a nice logo, and it doesn't take long to be able to do this. And you can see over here how it's going to carve. I set this up for a 90 degree bit. So the possibilities are actually endless to be able to do this. It's only limited by the imagination that you have. Hi everyone. Thank you for watching my video today. If you like the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and the little bell next to it so you'll be notified on the different videos that I upload. Also check out the videos over here to be able to stay up to date on the happenings in my shop. 
So again, thank you for watching my videos.